Welcome in. We got some post game here. Of course, Highland gets a sweep today in five innings, eighteen to two and ten to nothing. And Mike Smith now joined by Sidney Anderson. Sid, uh, you continue to hit the ball pretty well. Uh, Eleven game hitting streak uh, with the two uh, here today, I believe. And of course, uh, well, multiple hits, but you get uh, opportunity to see some of the teammates, you know, come up and come forth as well offensively and kind of do it a little bit differently in both games. I mean, first game he gets a lot of hits, but then you get some free passes in game two. But what's the big takeaway for uh, you, you and the team from these two victories? Um, today, I was just really happy with how we did. There's a couple girls that have been struggling and really working hard in practice to get these mistakes fixed, and it all paid off today. Like me personally, I've been working on hitting that outside, and in the first game, I got a nice little single right right through the uh, second base area, and then Sarah Shin finally crushed one. She's been working hard for that, and I'm just really proud of everyone and how they showed up today. Seems like, and it's kind of been a trend over the course of the season. Obviously, 22 and five, a lot of success having thus far. But uh, it seems like uh, that trend continued of uh, production from the top to the bottom of the lineup. You said some gals have kind of struggled, but uh, today it was contributions from everybody. And have you kind of seen that come, uh, you know, to fruition over the course of the year? Over the year, yeah, it, it has really been working, and um, it's just amazing how far we've come so far. And I'm, I'm not ready to quit, so. Well, that's good. We've got plenty more games still to go, obviously, with a couple good victories today. But uh, what's one of the big takeaways that, uh, you know, Coach was telling you, you know, after these, uh, you know, games here that you'll take away to kind of help you moving forward? Anything particular that kind of stood out? Yeah. <laughs> Um, we play Hutch tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we play Hutch. What's uh, I guess that that would be my question now. Then we play Hutch tomorrow. Obviously, what you have to do to what do you have to do against them? A little quicker turnaround. You're gonna you were scheduled to play them on Friday, obviously. But what do you got to do against them uh, to be able to continue this momentum? We're just gonna have to wake up early in the morning and be just ready to go and step off the bus ready to play. And I think that if we bring our A game, we we can beat them. One gal that was seemed to be ready to play, not your, you know, not just yourself, was uh, the gal I'm going to talk to next, Maya Daniels, uh, yeah. crushing one as yeah. well today with the grand slam. And I uh, will welcome Maya in uh, to take Sydney's place now. And uh, Maya, exceptional day for you offensively, a couple of multi-hit games and uh, a grand slam, which is where we'll just start right off. I mean, what was it like to be able to uh, blast that one out of the ballpark? Um, it was great. I had been in a slump for quite a while, so it was really nice to get that. <laughs> Just, yeah. Talking about you know coming up with uh, the offensive struggles for you, you, you kind of get out of that obviously in the first game with a couple of hits there and uh, a couple of RBIs attached to that. So how did that kind of uh, get you going offensively for the second game in that uh, Grand Slam? Um, it definitely built confidence. Uh, each hit builds a little bit more confidence, whether it's a good hit or a bad hit. It's always nice to have it. You're talking about uh, getting the opportunity to play this year and, and struggling maybe offensively a little bit, but what's been something that, uh, you know, kind of a mindset for you to keep churning and, and keep working at it and now see some uh, dividends come to fruition today? Um, just relax. As long as you're giving effort, it really doesn't matter how much you overthink. You just have to relax and do what you know how to do. So. Well, I'll let you uh, warm up. I see you a little chilly. It's been a little chilly today, too, but uh, congrats on the Grand Slam and the two Ws. Thank you. Maya Daniels joined us, and we'll be joined by Coach Heidi Jordan now as well. And uh, Coach, a uh, couple of uh, easy victories there. You know, you, you, well, I guess we'll frame it that way. But 18 to two and 10 to nothing. You take them, uh, you know, the way you can get them, and get uh, wins number 21 and 22 on the season. And just kind of get your thoughts on how the games went. Uh, offensively, you got a lot of hits in game one to produce the runs. Second game, you take advantage of a lot of free passes. I think it was 13 between the walks and hit batsmen. But uh, you know. Looking at the two games, uh, what kind of stood out to you? You know, we'll take runs however we can get them, whether we generate them or whether the other team does it for us, unfortunately. Um, you know, we swung, we swung the bats okay. We made a few good adjustments. We've been working hard on staying in our backsides, you know, and letting the ball travel a little bit more, um, anticipating, you know, certain ways people are going to pitch us. So, um, you know, I think they did a pretty good job today of adjusting to that. Um, it's hard in the elements, you know, to stay with the game plan. And, and, you know, even the girls that we brought into the game, they did a really good job of coming in and getting their job done and staying focused on what we've been working on for the week. So. You got plenty of opportunities for everybody today. Uh, the couple of gals that I was chatting with and Maya and, and Sid uh, had great performances today. Sid's been ultra consistent uh, over the course of the year, but Maya struggling a little bit, but good to see her kind of get the bat going for herself too. And uh, did you see some of those girls that maybe were kind of struggling with their bats uh, kind of wake up here with the offense today? Uh, yeah, you know, with Maya, Maya's been so solid on defense. She's been our rock out there at shortstop. So, and she's, 
We haven't given her enough opportunities to swing the bat for herself, but um, in her BP, she's been focused really hard and been putting some really good swings on it. So, you know, we wanted to give her that opportunity to hit for herself today, and it paid off. Um, Sid's consistent. I mean, kid can hit, so um, can't take any away from her work and what she does and what she is as an athlete. But um, as a whole, there's a lot of girls that are really starting to get close of coming out of some things, and you're starting to see some confidence in each other and themselves, and that and that goes a long ways. Hitting's very contagious, so if they can just break that one hit through or just think they can, or what, it, it goes a long ways. So, and they're supporting each other really well. And how does a couple of games like this, too, seeing some of the gals that you know maybe don't play as much get in action a little bit, too, for their teammates, kind of uh, rejuvenate the team a little bit or get some confidence? How does that kind of build things up for them, uh, seeing you know, the performance today? Yeah, you know, um, we try to give them as many innings as we can, you know, um, knowing that they're here for a reason and they can do a job for us. Um, we know exactly what they're capable of. So I'm not surprised to see them come through in certain situations because we're putting them in those situations to come through knowing what they can do. They're working just as hard. They're doing everything that they need to be doing and they deserve the chance. So um, I'm, I'm extremely happy when they come off the bench and they do what they need to do or they're called upon to do a special chore. So um I'm just they're 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 starting to kind of put things together and realize what what they can and can't do. So that that's good. I'll get you out of here on this one. I wanted to ask you about the pitching and specifically uh, Reagan. She's pitched extremely well over the course of the year and another spectacular performance from her inside the circle. But how satisfied are you with uh, the pitching so thus far this year? Oh, that's a loaded question. <laughs> um, my expectations are high out of my pitching staff, so, you know, um, I don't want to say they're not doing well at all because, I mean, the four that we have are doing extremely well. They're part of the reason why, you know, we're, we have the success we do, so um, they're a big reason why. So, um, Reagan's throwing very well with each game. She gains confidence, and that's great to see. The kid, the kid can be great so um i love to see her get stronger each time you know with Jalissa and haley haley's a rock for us uh she doesn't get shaken you know she she knows what her identity is i know what i'm going to get out of her i know i can count on her you know jay's hit and miss when jay's on that kid is on and when she's off man she's off so you know um kelly didn't get a chance to throw today you know kind of saving that arm a little bit um with some tenderness and stuff so you know as a whole where i'm super happy with my staff i'm super excited with what they can bring they're all different and they all offer something very different so um, that helps us out in the long run on to the next one uh, tomorrow against Hutch uh, hopefully warmer weather you know a little bit cold but uh, best of luck in the matchups tomorrow thank you that's uh, coach Heidi Jordan joining us after a couple of victories against Cloud County here on the Scotty Sports Network